Well, it's Tuesday morning, it's about 10 o'clock. The gig master is coming by. We're going for dive number five. I've got to deliver some knives and he's charging to go, so he's going to be here in about 15 minutes. He's going to go by himself. And I'm going to walk down the beach and swim out to the boat. This is not very far from where I live. He's coming by to pick up all my gear. Just put it in his boat. So all I gotta do, like I said, is walk down there and swim out. Here I got my care package. I got some water and a couple apples, my dive belt, my mask, and my compass is in there. He'll just put that in his boat. And that's all I can tell you right now. But I'll see you soon with the gig master. Well, the gig's arrived. We get ready to go. We're well, he's going, and I'm going to catch up with him out right there. <laughs> I'm headed home to meet up with the gig. I got a restaurant account over here in Chesapeake, an Indian place, and I do a knife exchange with them every two weeks. You see, we got some terrible looking clouds. It's supposed to rain most of the day, on and off. Sometimes light, sometimes heavy. But it don't rain underwater. Anyway, I'm headed home. I'll be home in about, uh, let's see, it's 11.58 now. I should be home by, well, it takes about 25 minutes to get to my house from here. Then I gotta put my suit on and just walk down the beach and like I said, I'm gonna swim out to the boat, which is just a short little paddle. So, that's it. I'll see you soon. Hook or dive, again. Look at that, look at that. Maybe that'll be like one of them things, the time warp. You remember, I don't know the name of the movie. I can't remember the actor's name, the guy that played president. He was on an aircraft carrier. He went through this thing, time warp came back in right during the uh, Pearl Harbor attack went back in time you know to 1944 maybe that's what's going to happen I'll walk through this thing and I'll come back at 26 at 26 I'd be better doing what I'm doing at 74 and a half this is rough work the diving part ain't rough. Finding the part ain't rough. Is getting in and out of that damn boat is rough. But the gig master has spent several hours yesterday re-fastening his ladder. Now, gig master is a talented kind of guy, as most of y'all know who follow him. He did a fantastic job on his ladder. I'll show you some pictures of it in a little while. Should make getting in and out for a guy like me fast and easy that'll be a great improvement you remember now two or three four five six seven eight nine ten twelve years ago at 260 pounds i probably wouldn't have been able to get in the boat even with the ladder but a slim and trim almost 189 it ain't too bad now Stand by. We'll be there in a couple of seconds or so. Long ago, I don't know how long, eight, ten years ago, I don't remember. I used to do this, and I had uh, dive tanks. I call them snuba. I guess everybody calls them snuba. I didn't put them on my back. I put them on a, I put big noodles, strapped noodles to the side of them, and put them on a skim board, and I floated them out to where we are. And I use the same hose I have now, 25 foot. That's all I used back then. And uh, I did okay. But just uh, getting them to the beach, coming down this street, and then pulling them over the sand dune, getting them to the beach, and then, you know, 35, 40 minutes, I'll carry two tanks. I didn't use two, I just carried two. It was a pain. I mean, a major pain in those days, getting them to the beach. With a beach I had to buy a fancy beach cart with them great big rubber tires on it, this and that. I finally got tired of doing that. Oh, Bowser, what are you doing out here all by yourself? You're a teeny tiny little Bowser. What are you doing? 
What you doing? Anyway. That was the hardest work I ever did. Trying to have fun. Dragging it through these sand hills right here. Even with the big tires. Two tanks and weight belt. That was that was a hard job back then. Okay. That's enough ranting for today. I'm getting ready to drop over the dune now. That's very odd. I don't see the gig on site. It should have been on site at least a half hour ago. All he had to do is leave my house, launch, which is 10 minutes away. But he's not. Oh, yeah, he is. I just can't see him. I see the boat now. Never mind. It's a nice day. No big wave, pretty slick. Should be a good day. As long as those clouds don't get us. I don't know if that's a looter or just somebody swimming in the hole there. I can't tell. I don't see no detector. I think it's just somebody swimming. Okay, I got my suit on. I'm headed out. The water's a mite brisk today. See how far I can walk out before I have to start swimming. There's the boat right there. I see the gig's bubbles. He's inside of me. I mean inside the boat from me. You see, they put that up there so that bangs up against the boat, pushes all the pressure right there, not up on top where it was hanging down and pulling, pulling from the top down. That's why it tore out. This is a nice rig right here. Stand by. <laughs> you got a any report for me? This morning. Looks like he's been on a little hot goose to me. <laughs> Klondike. I see a silver quarter, silver dime, silver dime. That might be a penny though. It could be. And a silver ring. <laughs> he's still, uh, and, oh, this is my favorite thing a clip off a hair, a diving cap. Oh, that's some kind of hair do that thing, yeah. Isn't it? Man, that ain't new either. All right, let's get down and get some more. Okay. Just a second, see where it is. Yeah. Number two. Uh, that's a, a nice looking little. I don't know what that is. It might have been gold one time. Might have got brass. That might be gold. I think it was gold once. I think the gold is gone it's and the brass is there. Yeah. Got a little signet type ring. Huh? Looks like a signet type ring. Yeah. I, I think this one might be gold. I'm not sure, dude. Yeah. Oh, oh that's a real that's a ticket there, baby. real McCoy right there. That's the real McCoy there, baby. Looks like a bear on there or something, doesn't it? Yeah, Oscar something Smith. Oh, Oscar Michael. Smith, oh yeah, that's over by you. Isn't that pretty? What year is it, can we tell? 1968 maybe or something? Yeah, 68 I think. 68, isn't that sweet? That's nice. That's a nice ticket. That's what we're looking for. A real McCoy kind of gold. A real McCoy there. 
I don't know what this is. What's it got a name or something on it? Looks like Agnes. 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 That's a pretty ring right there, isn't it? Can you tell us, can you read 14K or something? I ain't got no glasses at all. I can't read it. Silver quarter. Back down. And some buffaloes. That, that's, a, that's a walking liberty when it's like that, right? Yeah. Yeah, she's on the other side. Well, that's a that big ass ring right there. We gotta pop that off right now. Gotta be silver ring, but I don't know what's. You can see it's got some kind of design on it. We'll pop it down? Yeah. But that's nice. Oscar Smith tigers or bears or some damn thing. It's a heavy ring, too. Heavy what's it I found? Huh? And I got another one. I think this is a shaft. Zinc. Off a shaft of a boat, I think. Or was. But it don't have to be. It just looks like it should be. Half of one, you know? Two buffaloes. I know I had two nickels, but I couldn't see them down there. I could tell they were nickels by the size. But I, hold, I need one more for a tribe. Three is a tribe in my book. This time, but I did get a ring of some Perfect sort. Guy. Bottle yeah. cap, a penny, and a bathing suit snap. I did get one ring here. I cleaned it off here. Hard to clean that off when we get home. Ah, it's bleak for both of us. Yeah, bleak. That's a bleak run there. We got to try something different. It's uh, all right. Let's see if we can't see it clean. You got a silver dime, looks like. Yeah, they get silver. I don't know what this is, but it's a little. Something started to show up on this thing. Looks like it's gold to me, but I can't tell till we get back to the house. Yeah, I'll check it later. That does look gold. Look like it is. We're making a move to a better spot, we hope. Big porpoise in here with us. Huh. See him? A gathering of them. I mean, look at them. I don't know if you can see them or not. There's one right there by the boat. Damn. I got them. They like to play a little bit. Uh, we got porpoises all over here. <laughs> Man, a gathering of a pod of porpoise. Look at them jumping. <laughs>
Gold does crazy things to people. What do you think? Cool, baby. Is it holding? Yeah. The anchor's dragging. We had to move twice. For this. It's really moving. They're cooking. Honda cooking too. We're going to check the radar one more time. That thing is rolling, I'm telling you. You can't imagine how fast it's moving on this camera. There's the worst of it right there coming our way, according to the radar. This one's cooking right out of the way, pretty fast. But it sure does look weird, don't it? I told you we're going on a time warp. Come back in 1945, I'd be one years old. <laughs> <laughs> Martin Sheen was in that movie. That's all I can think of. I can't think of the, of the name of the movie. Final Countdown? Might be Final Countdown, yeah. Beat. We're on a... We're on a holding pattern. This one will be out of the way in about 10 more minutes if the speed is moving. It's clear right behind it, you see. But this is the one that comes up on the radar, this baby right here. Well, we decided to go in. It's raining brick bats. We're getting pounded, we're getting pleated. Oh, we haven't fun yet, Max! <laughs> Too hard though, some thunder around. We got these two watches we might as well crack. We got this new trusty cracker hammer we got. Let's see what we got here. Looks like a nut and a bolt and some washers. Interesting, huh? Pretty cool. I don't think this is like, I think this is a shaft zinc, half of a shaft zinc for a boat. Yep, that's what that is. And this is our fine nut and bolt. Okay. Here's a roundup. Bathing suit cap, 36 quarter, unknown Indian. 1936 Indian, 1956 nickel, four pennies, a bottle cap, two pieces of gray matter, and Agnes. I don't know what Agnes is. Agnes has no marks whatsoever, except inside is scratched something, and I can't tell you what that is. And this ring is another unknown. It looks gold inside. Nothing on the outside and no marks whatsoever. So we got a Wusset ring. I don't know what this is, stainless steel, I'm thinking. 
could be silver. If it is, it's a brand new drop. I don't know. We'll never know, maybe. That's it. See you Thursday or Friday, maybe. Got the knife gig tomorrow. Need rest anyway. My leader is fixing something extraordinary over here. Look at him pork chops. I don't know if they're done or they're getting ready to go in this pot. But in that pot is Brussels sprouts and something else. Are the pork chops going in there? Yeah. Oh, they are. Okay. Let me get that off with you. What are you trying to tell me? Corn. A big, nice pork chop. Some sprouts. Big ol' Jack. And a scaredy Indian. A little wine. Spice. Flavors you can't forget. Embossed on the front. Twice as heavy the Philadelphia PA on the bottom, March 19, North 9, 1920. That's this particular one. Mine must be 8 fluid ounces. Continent, no, contains 8 fluid ounces. 7436 53, whatever the heck that means. You bottle people fill in for me. I need some help here. Bottles. See if I can find anything more in this thing. Stand by. Here's one on eBay for eight dollars and ninety-five cents. It only has one picture. <laughs>